Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are on day 15 of Tarot Vlogmas. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome. If you're new here, welcome back. If you've been here before, if you've been following the series, if you've been enjoying it, if it's resonated, which I hope it has. Um, it's always important to understand that tarot can be past, present, or future energy. So take take things with a grain of salt or take it to heart, whatever you choose to do. Because I promise you this, if you reject um, if you reject something, this is how powerful we are. If you reject something, it has no choice but to be repelled and it will move away from you. If I tell you you're about to come into a lot of money and your thoughts are negative and you energetically push that away, those opportunities that were headed your way are going to go right back where they came from and go to someone else. So it's always important to keep your mind positive and optimistic. And that doesn't mean that you just trust anything that any old tarot reader tells you on YouTube. But it just means to trust your intuition, use your discernment, trust your gut, pray, pray. Before I do these readings, I pray. And I ask God to show me only what I'm supposed to see and what you're supposed to know. Anything outside of that, I have no control over. And I accept my role in this, but I am not responsible, obviously, for anyone else's choices, their thoughts, their beliefs. And so all I can do is encourage you all to keep your thoughts positive, please. If you get, not just from me, but anybody that you get a reading from, if they tell you something good is coming your way, don't energetically push it away. Because I promise you, you are more powerful than you know. And so, like I said, if I tell you the man of your dreams or the woman of your dreams about to skate, roller skate their way into your life, okay, baby? Roll, skate, rock, bounce, or whatever you call it. So, if I tell you that they coming and you like, mm, no, I don't know, it may not happen. But okay, well, guess what? Baby, they're going to roll, skate their ass right back that way. <laughs> so, just, you know. And keep your thoughts positive. Why did I cuss? I'm trying not to cuss on my channel. You know, I'm going to tell y'all now, I love to cuss. But I'm trying not to do it. I'm trying not to do that again. Okay, so let's see. Where do we want to start? Let's get let's get an archangel message. Okay, so we have donations, tithing, and charitable work. Give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you, and know that your generosity will be returned to you manifold in miraculous ways. Manifold, manifold. Uh, what is that, y'all? Many, manifold. Um, I think it's, it's pronounced manifold. The, the time, supplies, money, or other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies. You could be a Taurus, six of pentacles, energy, giving and receiving, being charitable. Then we have cooperation instead of competition. What's yours is yours and no one can take it from you. There's no need to compete and there's an abundance for all. You have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to those you choose to share it with. With cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything. Okay. So teamwork, working together with others. You could be a Cancer. You could be a um, Capricorn. So a lot of earth water coming through right now. Two earth energies coming through. So yeah, let's get some of these. When you're working together with people, you're being charitable, coming out of a competitive energy. Some of you could be Leos. We have used your time well. Make every moment count. Number 24 reduces to a six. I'm not going to show you all these cards because y'all can't see them. Set your course. Number 22 reduces to a four. We have two twos. Synchronicities could mean something. Um, know where you wish to go, have a plan in the right direction. So, okay, you're making your time, you're using your time wisely. And you're being focused. Her energy. Okay, using your time wisely, not letting anybody waste your time. And being super focused, laser focused on whatever it is that you want to focus on. Okay. these swear please show me what i need to see for my collective parent energy right now we have holidays seasons greetings so something that's happening right now for vlogmas <laughs> our moments together are magical oh you got somebody that you're going to be spending christmas with who's not going to be wasting your time laser focused on you okay that's good 
Okay, what am I doing here? Let's try this again. I don't know why I can't shuffle today. Oh my goodness. <laughs> why, Lord? Why? Oh, this is this is a trip. Okay, this is turning into like it ain't funny no more. <laughs> Okay, Spirit, please give me what I need to see. Let me calm down and breathe. Just one or two more cards, please. The um, current energy of the collective. <clears throat> Let's see what's here. We have rear view. Leave the past in the past. Pisces energy. No looking back. So you're walking away from something, someone. We have the evil eye. You are divinely protected against ill will. Any weapon formed against you shall not prosper. This is God's plan. You are protected by the most high. We have work is getting in the way. Okay. Somebody could have to work for the holidays. And they want to spend it with this new person. I feel like you got somebody hating on your connection or hate, hate, just hating on you. But I feel like you're in a connection with someone or getting ready to meet someone. And it's going to be a beautiful connection. Let's see what you, this is your Karen energy though. So I feel like you already know this person because this is happening right now. Okay, what you don't see coming. An intense attraction. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with uh, Aries or Sagittarius or that could be your sign or placements in your chart. I feel like you all are an acceptance, acceptance mold like, um, you're letting the things fall away that need to fall away. You're turning your back on what you need to turn your back on. We have real you. You're walking away, leaving things in the past. You don't see that coming, maybe. Some of the people in your life are not going to be there because you are walking away from them. It's going to be on your terms, though. So that's Tower, um, Scorpio, Aries energy, Pisces energy coming through again. A lot of emotion. Somebody could be feeling really sensitive or emotional right now with all this water coming through. Then we have Fighting Sensation, Capricorn energy. So... Some of you can have a Capricorn coming your way. It's what you don't see coming. This person that's coming in could also be a fire sign, like I said. I feel like some of you could be walking away from a Pisces or you are a Pisces. You're walking away from a Scorpio and Aries or a Pisces or someone on the cusp of Pisces and um, Aries. Hmm. Oh, wow. You will be this person's husband or wife. That's what you don't see coming. And then we have in pain, <clears throat> what you don't see coming. Um. You may, what you don't see coming with the end pain is that this person that you're walking away from is not going to be without consequence. It's not going to be without some feelings and emotions. You may have a, a long history with this person, deep connection with them, children, just a history. It may not be the easiest thing in the world, but you, you are walking away from somebody. Okay, your biggest challenge. Yeah, your biggest challenge has been holding something together that needed to fall apart. Scorpio, Aries coming through again with the tower. Some of you have been in arbitration, settling, in, settling a dispute or trying to work out a compromise or resolution with an ex or something like that. Well, this could be just any legal matter. Some of you could be Libras. Some of you could um, have a child support case or a divorce that you're trying to finalize or something like that. You can't just like cleanly break away from somebody. <clears throat> yeah, you thought it was built to last. A connection that has staying power. You thought your, your marriage or your relationship was solid. And that's been the challenge. It hasn't been. And you, it, this card says, I love your strength. Could be a Leo that you're walking away from. Um, I think you thought the relationship was more solid and strong than it really was. And what is this outcome? Spirit, what's the outcome for the collective? Outcome. Okay. So we got the eight of swords, Gemini energy coming through, trapped. So the outcome is trapped. I feel like this person is not making it easy for you to walk away, but you're going public with your new person, posting pictures on social media, meeting each other's family and friends, going to the next level. Look at this, Leo, victory, going to the next level, change of scenery. Some of you are moving, traveling. Aries energy. Outcome is stuck like glue. This is forever, baby. And this person respects your boundaries. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Sagittarius. 
So you, you're, you're calling in a really respectful, loyal person that you got a lot of attraction to. This is the person when you're around them that y'all ain't doing nothing but it feel like everything. <laughs> Karen energy. Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're nurturing this connection. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy coming through. You got a lot of love in this. Some of you um, are going to have a child with this person. Or you, you could be um, already pregnant by this person. You could already have children with them. I, I feel like it's a new person, but it's possible. It could be somebody you're coming back together with. Yeah, you, look, you got karma, justice, Libra energy. A lot of healing going on. Truly honest person. You could be dating a Libra. You got Aquarius here with the star card. You're healing. The universe shows me that I can have faith in my dreams. So you're calling this person in and making this decision, taking that blindfold off, and getting rid of that past person. Could be a Libra. Or you're calling in a Libra, or you could be a Libra. But you don't see coming. You will marry this person. That's what you don't see coming. There's a song playing, and these lyrics are so relevant right now. It's called You and I. Oh my God. I, I It says, You are a light. I want to read some of them in my life. You and I. Do or die. I'm a ride with you. Yeah, this is somebody coming in to be uh, your partner. Y'all, what? I said somebody was going to be pregnant. This is also about, you know, marriage and commitment. The, the empress is everything. Okay, she she's the highest seated queen. She's the empress. She's the queen of all the queens. Connecting to the earth reminds me that abundance is unlimited. Some of you are connecting with the Taurus. Some of you are going to be having a baby with this person for sure. This is a harmonized relationship, a harmonious relationship. Knight of Pentacles coming in. Man, stability. Stability, stability. Some of you have a Capricorn coming in. We saw that here. And then we have a Knight of Swords coming in. This person is coming in with kind of impulsive, right? <laughs> They come in impulsive. The song's playing right now is Dreams by somebody. I forgot his name. Um, yeah, but this person is going to come after you with some force. They, and they get what they want. The Knight of Swords gets what he wants. Aquarius energy. Oh my God, y'all. King of Cups. Y'all look at this. They come out together all the time. The collective is is like really tapping into their emotions because these two cards keep coming up in my readings, y'all. Even the readings I don't do uh, for YouTube. Oh my God. This is your divine counterpart. This is a, a mature, emotionally stable person you are calling in. Wow. Okay. The challenge. Yeah. The hermit. Soul searching, trying to figure out how, why you was dealing with that past person. Virgo energy. Biggest challenge. You weren't follow, following the guidance inside with that other person. This person, like, you always fought with this person. Chariot, Cancer Energy. I feel like there were a lot of fights, a lot of disagreements, a lot of back and forth between you and this person. It was too much going on. One. Look at this. Four of Pentacles. They, they were not giving you what you were giving them. They were being stingy with their love. Capricorn Energy. Okay. And your outcome. We already see your outcome, your divine counterpart. Look at this. Six of Cups. This this is somebody that you, you want to have everything with. This is a kind person. This is a person who brings out your inner child in a happy, good way, though. They remind you of all that when life was simple. This could be somebody from your childhood, a Scorpio, possibly. Some of y'all got a water sign coming in heavy. Water is here heavy. I said that at the beginning of the reading. Look at this. Water again, the high priestess. Cancer, it could be Pisces as well. It says, my inner knowledge is the best guide in all. So your intuition leads you to this person. Bottom of the deck, look, you're moving away from this other person. Six of Swords, Aquarius energy to a better option. I love seeing that card. I love to see that card because it lets me know you got your bumps, your bruises, your scars. 
but you didn't give up. You are a survivor. You're gonna make it, you will survive. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's get some messages here. Just gonna pull over. Messages. Addiction. You had fighting temptation, but you don't see coming. I feel like you had a codependency on this past person. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block restraint. That's also that person's energy. They they weren't open to love. Spirit, if my collective, what they need to see, what's this? Lightning, that's the chariot energy, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. You are transforming. I feel like this also, like I said here, with the um, the chariot and your challenge, that's that upheaval, but it transforms you, so it works to your benefit. They don't know. They are a blessing in disguise to you because they're pushing you right towards a better option. I don't know what these karmic people be thinking about. This person sitting around thinking about you. Photograph. Could be an Aquarius. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, and making new memories. You're making new memories, but they still holding on to the past. <laughs> I mean, this nostalgia is coming through again. We have the Six of Cups. So it also could be you just, like I said, Feeling like this person reminds you of a simple time, especially this holiday season, greetings, magical moments. I feel like this person makes you feel like giddy, like a little schoolgirl, schoolboy. We have coffee cup. Somebody likes coffee. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. You and your new person may like to um go to like a coffee shop, go to Starbucks, go to maybe like I don't see Starbucks, but maybe um like a quaint little uh, coffee shop in your hometown or something like that. That could be where you met this person or where you will meet this person. Last card I'm going to get is love call. <laughs> Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So I think you have a really attentive, emotional person coming in. I think you have a water sign coming in. For sure. And that's it, y'all. That's it for today. I will see you all tomorrow. Well, take care. Thanks for watching.